Hello everybody, welcome to the lockdown haul. I was going to do this one later on when I got more stuff, but since, you know, we've got the coronavirus, coronavirus, ooh, 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 we've, we've got that happening, I can't go out and get any more, so this is practically all I've got between last update and, well, now at this point in time, obviously, um, Although it usually takes me to like do an update anyway, so no one's lost. So, as so as punishment for all of, all of you for not socially isolating, you're gonna have to sit down and watch my crappy video. Enjoy. So, I've got two tickets, um, two first tickets actually, um. A few DVDs, including a few box sets, and a CD, which is quite rare. I normally don't buy CDs because I'm not really like into my music. I'm not as into music as other people are, so I don't tend to buy CDs. But yeah, we'll get started with the tickets. The first ticket is for Ghost Stories, which was an early which was an early birthday present this was this was sort of based on a film which i've never seen um i don't know how close it is to the film or not because i've not seen the film but this was really good um, it's sort of like this guy who recounts these old ghost stories and there's like a twist ending and so on it's they're probably sold out of this but if they ever like show it again, definitely go and watch it. It's brilliant. It's really, I mean, it's got like jump scares and so on, but I mean, it's got like it's got quite a lot of black humour through it, which is always fantastic. Because if you know me, I like my disturbing shit, my dark humour and so on. So yeah. And then the next and final ticket, which actually is quite amazing, because I've not been. Because I mean, I've been to see Book of Mormon back in the summer, so I've got. So I've been pretty much going to the theatre more frequently than, you know, than I've been in my entire life. And I probably, this probably won't happen again. But, yeah, so the next ticket is John Shuttleworth's Back. Um, this was when, this is when Graham Thomas brought John Shuttleworth back for one more tour. This, this again was really funny. Um, you know, I've never seen like John Shuttleworth live before and this was really this was really good. Um, he's. I was lucky that they showed it at the Manchester, um, at, in Manchester when they did because um, literally like a few weeks afterwards, um, Graham Fellows said that he wouldn't be performing it for a while and um, until, you know, this virus has died down. So, yeah, I think he's probably already sold out. But if you if you go to like the John Shuttleworth website, if there is like. Unless your area has already been played, or it's already been, or it's already been sold out, then I definitely recommend this. This is really good. This is really funny. And then the two, and then I got two items at, you know, at sort of the marquee there, which one of them is the CD, and that is John Shuttleworth, the A11, and others. Yeah. yeah, this has got like some songs that were performed there and, um, you know, some songs out of the radio series as well. Um, they had this on um, LP as well. It was actually signed LP, but I don't have a, a record player, so I can't, so there wouldn't be, I could have bought it on LP, but there wouldn't have been any fun. I mean, it would have been like too expensive, taking up too much space and I wouldn't even be able to listen to it. So here's the disc, and inside we just get just a little thing with track listings and writing and all this crap. And then the DVD, then this DVD I got there was um. Minotaur and other mythical creatures. This was one of the 
um, older stage shows. In fact, actually, this was quite a long time ago. It was 2010, I believe. It was 2010 or 2009 when this was performed. And this one sort of comes in one of those, you know, when you used to get DVDs inside newspapers, it comes in one of those type of boxes, which I'm not, if I'm brutally honest, I'm not overly keen on. I prefer them to come in like a proper, like, plastic case. Um, just because I think these ones tend to, I don't know if they get tattier easier, but, you know, it's just, I don't trust them, you know, with the disc. But here's the disc anyway. So, yeah. This means it's already slightly damaged, which is always fantastic. So the most of these DVDs now are box sets, but I'll show you two that aren't box sets. Um, I got these two in Poundland, actually. So we get Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Um, I've only seen the first Austin Powers film because it was I saw it on TV, um, not too back not too long ago um i've got these in panel because these are like out of print and annoyingly they didn't have um the first film so yeah, here's the spy shag me i think these are like out of print now or something which is stupid because it's like a major like popular movie so why are these out of print And gold member. Yeah, I really did enjoy the first Austin Powers film. I don't think these are supposed to be as good as the first one, but still. And oh look, you get a little thing from Music Vampire in there. Um, I don't normally buy DVDs from Powerland because I mean I've had like. I mean, obviously, I had like a bad experience in the past with the panel on DVDs, but you know, I tested these and they were they were quite scratched, which doesn't really they were a bit scratched, which doesn't really does this one have scratches on it? Yeah, yeah, it does. They're a little bit scratched, a little bit dirty, which you know, to be honest, doesn't really feel with too much confidence. But I've tried these and they work perfectly fine. And then pretty much the rest of these are now box sets. Starting with... Get the fuck out of it! It's an Eddie Murphy collection. Um, I got this in um, HMV. It was in one of their bargain buckets, which you probably might have seen, where they essentially just like... I think it's like DVDs and Blu-rays that aren't selling. They just like massively reduce the price and stick them in a box. And this one, the normal price would be around 20 quid, but this was around... Uh, six pounds, six or seven pounds, yes, yeah, seven pounds. So, this one has uh, six films in it. It's got 48 Hours, Beverly Hills Cop, uh, Coming to America, The Golden Child, Trading Places, and Norbit. The only one I've actually seen out of this box set is um, Trading Places. Trading Places is a classic, of course. Um, I put these in release order. Starting off with um, his debut film, 48 Hours. Please be cautious, if you do buy this on DVD, please note that this is not in anamorphic widescreen, it's in non anamorphic widescreen, which is really quite annoying. But I think if I watch this one, if I enjoy it, I'll probably buy the Blu ray of it. Just Here's the disc. Trading places. Beverly Hills Cop, but this one doesn't have the sequels in it. This one is a 
apparently a special collector's edition, which I think just means there's more bonus features on it. The Golden Child um, recently um, Brilliant, brilliant YouTuber Minty Comedic Arts did a video on this film. I've, I've, I've heard a bit before. It was, I know it's something to do with like Chinese mysticism. I believe this came out around the same time as Big Trouble in Little China. Um, I can't imagine this being anywhere near as good as Big Trouble in Little China, but there you go. It's probably, at some point, I'm still going to enjoy it. And then coming to America. So yeah, so that's pretty much all the um, 80s films in it. Now here's a film from the 2000s, which is ugh, Norbit, which is a film I genuinely never heard of. This came out later, this came out in the late 2000s and it looks bloody awful <laughs> if I'm brutally honest with you it looks bloody crap it looks like it, it's kind of like that Wayne's Brothers um Seltzerberg types crap it's, it's sort of like that oh ha 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 uh, she's holding her hose oh it looks like a penis and it's ejaculating ha 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 fuck off <laughs> I'm probably, I'm never going to watch this one. I've got, I only got this for the other ones, but if I feel sadomasochistic, I'm going to put this on to torture myself, but otherwise, no, I'm probably, I'm not going to watch it. Use the disc. Now the rest of these are South Park box sets. So first up we've got hmm, sorry, the camera. So first up we've got seasons fifteen through seasons eleven through fifteen. Obviously with Stan on the front. Please be warned that if you are in the UK or pretty much any country that isn't America. Please be warned that on this, as well as any other version of season 14, the two infamous episodes 200 and 201 have not been included for some reason. Um, I know in America, they put them out on the DVD set in America, but the version of 201, that is very heavily censored. So the only sort of legal way you can watch them is to fucking go ahead and import it. But I'll show you what I did. So here's season 11, here's season 11, season 12, season 13, season 14, obviously there's Cartman as Gordon Ramsay, and then season 15. And here's a burnt disc. Now, naturally, I wouldn't condone anybody do this, but, you know, I felt I felt justified in doing it because, you know what, fuck having to import it. Because, you know what, I'm not paying, like, because, I mean, it costs, like, I mean, normally, like, if you are going to, like, import it from, like, the US Amazon, and so it's, it's going to be around, like, the normal asking price is around 15 quid. Which, to be honest, is quite a bit steep just for two episodes. But, you know, obviously you have to pay, like, the import fees and you have to reconvert them to watch them on a fucking PAL TV. No, fuck that. These these were actually burnt from a version that was uploaded onto YouTube. Um, which, do you know what, Comedy Central? Go after me. Do it. I dare you. Because, I mean, I've already paid you for... Season 14, I've paid for this box set. I'm going to get the episodes you're not giving me, okay? 
And actually this one has the uncensored version of 201 on there, which has pretty much all mentions of Muhammad um, unbleeped and has Kyle's speech intact at the end. Whereas on the American version, it's it's the version that was shown on telly, which was, you know, very, very, very heavily censored. So here's an episode guide which I printed off. Because like the other two, they didn't come with them. Um, right there, between You Have Zero Friends and Crippled Summer is where 200 and 201 slot in. And then we get to 16 through 20, obviously with Kyle on the front. This one came out a few years after the other three, because I think the other three came out around the same time, or maybe even the same day in 2016. This one came out in 2018, because at the time season 20 was still being shown on television. Although, why they didn't release it as soon as season 20 came out on DVD is... I'll never understand. Do you reckon it? I think it was just because they wanted to make more money from the box, from the sales of the DVD, from you know the box set before they put out this sort of like budget set. And this one has increasingly less discs because from season seventeen onwards they cut down the amount of episodes because it used to be about I think it, was, it used to be about 14 per season then starting at season 17 they reduced it down to 10 so here's season 16 which is across three discs uh, season 17 which for some reason it doesn't have an Irish rating on it which I've never been able to understand why. Um, I've had a look online and they've not given a reason why it doesn't have an Irish ray. I can't find one, which is slightly confusing. Do you, do you think there was like an episode that was banned or something in Ireland? I don't know. Season 18, this was when they started to go towards more like serialised storylines. Season 18 was good. Season 19... And then finally, the most infamous season, season 20, which I didn't watch when it was broadcast. I watched it sort of when it was repeated, but I sort of binge watched it, which I mean, it was slightly better as an experience. And especially knowing, you know, what had happened behind the scenes, because essentially they were doing like a full on like serialised arc throughout it, you know, just like had the whole season a single story. But um it all relied on Hillary Clinton winning the election, but as we all know, Carrot Man won. So, so essentially, what happened was Parker and Stone basically put all the eggs in one basket, and so they had to heavily rewrite the ending just to, you know, to fit into Trump winning. Here's the episode guide again. And then the next ones are season 21, which, uh, if I'm brutally honest, with a few good, ep with a f there's a few good episodes in it, it's probably my least favourite season. I think 
it was just kind of a thing about like Cartman and Heidi. I mean, I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't really like the little story of Cartman and Heidi in season twenty. You know, and this one they sort of brought Cartman back to his old self. You know, who basically like abuses this poor girl, but ah, uh, it's just I think kind of like the story arc and something. Just I just didn't care for. It. I mean, it's not a bad season. It's not terrible. I mean, there's not like a bad season of South Park. It's just some seasons are better than others, and this one definitely likes as one of likes as one of the weaker seasons. Yeah, I, I like that sort of look from when, like, near the end of the season when Heidi basically turned into Cartman 2. So yeah, there we've got the discs. Here's the episodes. Next one is season 22, which is the most recent season to come out on DVD. It's not the most recent season of the series. Which, actually to me, it was a massive improvement over season 20 and 21. Because I thought 20 and 21 were kind of a bit iffy. But I think this one, I think this kind of when they abandoned like politics and so on. I think that's what pretty much helped the show greatly. There's the battle between Satan and Mambo Pig with the whole, you know, the whole thing about Al Gore. And apparently about the Ozone Mayor being... You know, beyond the point of no return, and you can you can have your own discussions about climate change in the comments. I don't really care. That right there is the bloody drop Satan. the disc. Near the episodes. Yeah, I think this was the season when they were trying to push more buttons because they did that whole um, hashtag cancel South Park thing, which, you know, was them essentially trying to get Comedy Central to axe it, you know, because they were tackling like more, particularly quite early on, they were tackling more like extreme like themes, like, um, you know, Boy and a Priest was about, you know, like um, the paedophilia within the church and obviously Dead Kids was like school shootings about how like people are so desensitised to it. The problem with a poo, that was um, sort of a thing about, you know, a poo, the a poo controversy which was happening at the time. You know, about how like the Simpsons character poo suddenly became like offensive after you know, all these years, which to me is a bit silly, but, yeah. yeah this one season actually had two parters, it was um, two two parters, there's the, you know, the whole thing about climate change and the return of Man, Bear, Pig and Al Gore, and then there was one for Film Back Parade that was about, like, Amazon stuff. So yeah, that was it for this update. Um, I hope, I hope you're staying indoors. I hope you're not. I hope you're not being an idiot and spreading this bloody virus around. Because I mean, 
I don't know about you, but I want to get the fuck out of this house as soon as possible. So, stay the fuck in. Anyway, that's it for the moment. Until next time, goodbye.